We have a safety alert for you tonight. A thief broke into the theater Dawes Volunteer Fire Station, stealing and stripping the department's brush truck. Firefighters say their life-saving abilities are now compromised. NBC 15's Nicole Fierro is live tonight. Nicole, folks in that fire district say they are now at risk. Here's what's left of the department's only brush truck. You can't tell now with everything ripped out, but this was the department's key tool to battling wildfires and accessing blazes in hard to reach areas. While firefighters fought to save these two homes early yesterday morning, they say a thief got busy inside of their station. Prying open the door and taking off with the Theodore Dawes department's only brush truck. We searched for the truck through the GPS and found out that it was moving around town. So we followed the truck. And that's when volunteer firefighter Jarvis Lewis says he found this man inside, Jeremy Bexley. I asked him where he got our truck from. He said that someone sold it to him. And I said, who would sell you a fire truck? And pretty much after that, he took off running. Firefighters say they chased Bexley and finally caught him hiding under a trailer. He committed to where he dumped all our equipment at and it was it was actually three locations you know we had to go and pick up our our equipment it's now back but unusable they took the pumps and all apart this as you can tell here they took and cut the hoses and we're gonna i guess scrap all the copper and brass twenty thousand dollars in damage to a volunteer fire department taking their only brush truck out of commission right before a week of low humidity and no rain, high brush fire conditions. Is people's decision putting the community safety at risk? Yes, it is, because now it's going to be little, these cans with, with water in them and rakes and flaps trying to put out fires if we can't get one of our bigger trucks in there to them. A scary and saddening thought for the volunteers who put their lives on the line to protect. It's just, I don't understand why, especially to a volunteer fire department. Somebody that, if they need you, now they can't help you. The department's assistant fire chief says it's going to take weeks to get the money and restore the truck. There's a GoFundMe set up to speed up that process. We have a link to it on our website, mynbc15.com. In Mobile County, Nicole Fierro, NBC 15 News.